Fellow fragrance lovers, today's unboxing is from Zara. I ordered some perfume from Zara for the first time. And this came about because I've been looking to get a fragrance for my 16-year-old son. And I was in a shop one day over Christmas. And the young man who was serving me smelled very lovely. And so I asked him what uh, fragrance he was wearing and he told me it was a Zara perfume and I didn't even know that Zara did perfumes so when I got home oh, Zara collection 20 so when I got home I went to look for the perfume and as you do I also found that they had women's perfume so I decided to order some it was Christmas and the sales, so we have uh, Go Fruity Join Life. This is $5.99. And then we've got Zara Emuchi Atelier in uh, Tokyo. And then we have Man Silver. Eau de toilette. So we're going to start with this one because this is what got me onto the Zara website. Um, so first of all, really good price, really good postage and packaging. I got this within a couple of days of ordering, so I was very, I was very, very impressed by that. Oh, it's a very nice box. Oh. This does look very swish, very swish. So you've got Man Silver and Man Silver Winter, which look really good for the amount that you're getting. And as I say, to this young man, he smelled really, really lovely, and I think it's always good when you can get that. Okay, let's see. So adorable. I love that. Mm. Join life. The packaging is a little bit fiddly if you're not used to it. Fiddly packaging. Okay. I think the idea is you're supposed to open it like so. And ta da! Zara, go fruity, join life. And this is an eau de toilette. Lovely. Okay, let's see this one here. Is this going to be easier to open? Let us see. So I don't know if it's a thing that perfume boxes are supposed to be difficult to open. Is that kind of like a thing? Um, oh, it's the travel size spray. And it's part of the artisan's collection. Let's sample them. Okay, we're going to try. Um, the Zara Emuchi Atelier in Tokyo. And according to the website, it's supposed to have top notes of pear, which I like. I find pear fruits very attractive um, generally. The middle note is rice. I've never tried a perfume that has got rice as a note in it. And the base note is supposed to be sandalwood. Uh, I quite like sandalwood. So quite curious to see what this tastes like. Um, what it smells like. Oh, and it's a rollerball. <laughs> this is my first rollerball. I didn't realize it was a rollerball. I thought it was a spray on, but um, see, I'm going to try it on here. Oh, the pear is really strong. Wow. Uh, tartness. A little bit sweet. Hmm. Quite.
quite like it actually. It's very interesting. I can't smell too much alcohol. It does have a little bit of a powderiness to it. it. That's it. It reminds me of baby powder from when I had the babies. So I've had five babies. So I'm familiar with baby powder. Um, I can't say I'm getting rice. I, I cook a lot of rice. Perhaps that's not how rice is supposed to smell, but I definitely got the pear at the beginning. Maybe it's something that settles into the skin really nice, but right off the top, not too bad, not too wah wah, but not too bad either. Um, the next one, Go Fruity, is apparently it's got apple as its top opening note, and it's got peach and vanilla as the base note. So I like apple, I like peach, and I like vanilla. So I thought I'd give it a go, and I like the price. That's why I decided to give it a go. Ooh, very strong spritzer. Oh, hello. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Very inviting. It's very pleasing. Mm. Fruity. Oh, wow. Fruity, it's powdery, and it's fresh. Like, the powder isn't as heavy as in the other one, but... Mm. Oh, I like it. It's very appetizing. It gives the impression of vanilla. It's quite cozy and comforting. I like this. I like this. Can't comment on the longevity because I haven't tried it on my skin yet, but... So far, it smells good. This could be something that I could see myself using as a um, everyday, day-to-day -day perfume when I'm just going about doing my business, not when I'm doing something special or anything like that. But yes, quite like it. A very simple bottle design, um, obviously, but yes. Okay, now let's try the Man Silver. Or we'll just try um, the Man Silver Winter. Because I like the color better. So it's a very nice uh, color bottle. It's got an ombre look to it. And the top notes are mint. Middle note is amber. And base note is sandalwood. So even though this isn't for me, I'm the one that's actually doing the shopping for my 16-year-old son. So we're just going to see how this smells. Ooh. Atomizer is a bit problematic. Oh, there we go. A lovely little squirt. Mm, 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 mm. Very green, very fresh, perfect for a teenage boy, I would say. Mm -hmm. Love it. I'm not getting the mint though. I'm getting pine, a uh, pine tree smell, but not the mint. It smells very, um, I want to say common, but I'm used to smelling this, say, at the gym when there are lots of people who've just had their showers and they're leaving the gym. So very, I think, appropriate for a 16-year-old boy, um, basically. But I can't say that it's very special in any way. We're going to try the silver now. I was just trying to find a paper that hadn't been tried on. So this is clear. This one's a lot more subtler. Very, very subtle. Let me find out what the notes are. Okay, the top notes are lemon, lavender, and pepper. Middle notes are neroli and orange blossom. Base notes are cedar and sandalwood. So this one's got a lot more going on than um, the winter version. But it smells a lot more subtle. It's not quite as synthetically in your face as the man winter one. Mm. Yeah, so it's not quite as strong. And for my 16-year-old, I definitely think that the green one 
would be better. I can't say I'm picking up on all of the notes that they have mentioned. So Neroli is one of my favorite um, essential oil fragrances. I'm not getting that from here at all. But it's all right. I think it will do the job for the price that it is for and for somebody who's new to perfumes, especially a young boy, because this is going to be his first perfume set. Okay, so this is the Zara haul um, that I got over Christmas for the holidays. I will report back on usage and performance once I have worn these on my skin for several days and once my son or my husband have used this thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe so you can follow along with my scent journey and also can you recommend any zara women's fragrances that you think are quite good i'd appreciate that <laughs> bye <laughs>